Running Back Nation, what is good? It is your boy DJ Eastwood, Running Back Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. I'll go gang. You know what to do. Hit the like button. That is how you pay us content creators for all of the free content that we constantly put out. Subscribe to the channel. Only 50% of people that watch these videos are subscribed. That is fraudulent behavior. So if you watch these videos and you're not subscribed, please hit the red subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. Turn your notification bell on. Maxi Season t-shirts available now. Run it back. Phillyshop.com. Let's get into the topic of this video. So the narrative for a while on Tyrese Maxey has been that he's not a point guard. He can't play point guard. He's not a facilitator. Uh, he's a two guard. He has one speed. Uh, there's a lot of things. And I think most of it comes from people that uh, haven't watched him intently over the years. So I went back through some of the games where... Ben Simmons was being a fraud. You remember those days, the beginning of the 2021-22 season, where Ben Simmons was sitting out refusing to play. We had not yet made the trade for James Harden. We did not have another option at point guard besides the one and only Tyrese Maxey. Okay, so Tyrese Maxey was starting at point guard in the beginning of the 2021 season. And I just went through a couple of games and looked at his assists and, and watched some film on him running the pick and roll and tried to show you that there is definitely potential there for Tyrese Maxey to be a starting point guard in the NBA. Now, I want to say this. First of all, you know how much Tyrese Maxey has developed his game in just a couple of years. Coming in the league as a 29% three-point shooter, shooting 42% from three the year after that shooting 43% the year after that and adding some uh, another array of shots, some step backs. Every single time this kid comes into the NBA, it's clear that he was working all offseason on adding things to his game. And I think the one thing that he's going to focus on this offseason, and he's probably already been focusing on, is running the pick and roll, is running an offense, and is becoming a better facilitator for a team in case the 76ers start him at point guard. And I think Nick Nurse probably has faith in him. And, uh, you know, I think that's probably what he's working on. So uh, the 2021 season when Ben Simmons was being a fraud, Tyrese Maxey was starting at point guard. Also this, you know, James Harden's one of the best facilitators in the history of the game. He's one of the best passers I've ever seen. And he's very, very, very good at running the pick and roll. But do you need... Do you necessarily need a floor general? Do you need a Chris Paul? Do you need a James Harden? You know what I'm saying? Look at the Denver Nuggets and Jamal Murray. Is Would you call Jamal Murray a floor general? Would you call Jamal Murray a facilitator? I don't think necessarily. Now, obviously, Nikola Jokic is much more of a facilitator at the center position than a lot of point guards in the NBA, so that's not a direct, fair comparison. But what I'm saying is running the game through Joel Embiid or around Joel Embiid does Tyrese Maxey really need to be a floor general at point guard? Or does he just need to be a combo guard who can run the pick and roll and can facilitate at times? That's what I think. So here is a, a highlight, and I'm going to go through a couple of highlights, okay? But here's one from the first game of the season in 2021 when Ben Simmons was being a fraud and Tyrese Maxey was playing point guard. And here's a nice little pick and roll with our guy Paul Reed. Uh... And I think this is great, man. I think this is this shows the potential of Tyrese Maxey playing point guard. Here's a dribble handoff to Paul Reed. Reed sets a screen. Maxey drives and throws the oop. Now, it looks very simple, right? But what I'm saying is, do you have to be a magician to be a point guard in the NBA? He reads the screen. He looks at Jackson Hayes and says, what you going to do, boy? Because if you step up, I'm going to dump it off. If you sit back, I'm going to go to my floater. You know what it is. Hayes steps up a little bit. Maxi reads the roll, throws a perfect lob to Paul Reed. I just think that is a point guard play right there. And I think a play like that should show everybody that Tyrese Maxi definitely has potential to be a point guard in this game. Let's check out another one. Here's Tyrese Maxi at point guard uh, in the beginning of that 2021 season when Ben Simmons was being a fraud. And is a nice little play right here, and I like this play because it's it's multi. He makes multiple reads on the play. Here's a screen by Joel Embiid. He's going to come around there. He's going to look at Joel, and he sees Thibel cutting 
back door. He's he's running the pick and roll here. And if he if he didn't have a facilitating ability, he would have just made one read right here. He would just be looking at Joel and nobody else. But he's reading the whole floor. Is that not what a facilitator does? Is that not what you want a point guard to do? He's watching what Joel's doing. He's watching what Robinson's doing right here, whether he steps up or not. And he sees Thibel cut back door. And he hits him with it. Now, was it a bad pass? Maybe a little bit behind him. Maybe Thibel jumped ahead and, and, and went too far under the basket. Maybe he should have threw a lob. But either way, the read was there. That was a good play by Thibel, actually. I take that back. But the read was there. Multiple reads in one play from Tyrese Maxey. Now, there's also people saying Maxey can't lead a team or be a facilitator in the playoffs. So I decided to go to some, some of his assists in the playoffs. This is game one against the Boston Celtics where he dropped 26 points. Um, and James Harden had the ball the whole game. But Maxey's two assists in this game were actually really, really good. Okay, let's look at the first one. Here, here's a, a screen by Paul Reed. He goes the opposite way. Doesn't like what he sees. Pulls it back out. Gets another dribble handoff from Reed. And kicks it out to DeAnthony Melton for three. Look how many reads are in this play. This is patience. You know, Reed sets the screen. He nice little crossover on, on Jalen Brown right there. Going the opposite way. S tries to read what Al Horford's doing. Do I want to dump it down to Reed? Do I not? Reed doesn't really cut. He kind of stands out there, which you're not much of a shooter, my guy. So... You know, what are you doing? But he doesn't like what he sees, and he pulls it back out. It gives it back to Reed. Gets the dribble handoff again. So this is patience and running two sets in one offensive play from Tyrese Maxey running the, running the point in this particular situation. Then he drives, brings Jason Tatum in, and kicks it out to DeAnthony Melton for three. That's a point guard play, if you ask me. Here's the other assist from Tyrese Maxey in that first Boston Celtics game. And this is again with James Harden on the floor. The uh, limited amount of times that Doc Rivers actually ran a set for Tyrese Maxey or let him bring the ball up and run a play. And this is another, uh, you know, this is reading, being a step ahead, reading the whole floor and seeing what's happening as a point guard. You know what I mean? He sees Reed slip through that screen uh, before the play even really develops. Reed sets the screen for Harden. And Reed just slips through. And before the play even develops, Maxi mid-dribble, sees Reed cut and hits him with a one-handed pass. That's a great play. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's stop this. Tyrese Maxi absolutely cannot play point guard in the NBA or can't lead a team in the playoffs. I know he's young and he might not be there this year, but there is definitely 100% potential for Tyrese Maxey to be a high level scoring point guard in this league. I don't think we need James Harden to come back. I don't think we need some other point guard from somewhere else. I agree with what Stephen A. Smith said the other day. Give Maxey the keys. Let's go. Give Maxie the keys. And I have faith that Nick Nurse can make it happen. So when that James Harden trade inevitably happens, it's Maxie season. Which, by the way, plug. Get your Maxie season t-shirts at runningbackphillyshop.com. I'm out of here.